Hey, if you're watching this, my name is Michael Ensor, founder of Advertising Report Card, and people have been asking me, what's the problem with Facebook? Well, they've changed something that's going to affect all users unless they fix this really quick, which, as you may know, they don't really do that very often. So I'm making this video and I'm putting it up on YouTube. Again, thank you for watching to show you what Facebook did and how it's probably going to impact your business negatively unless you switch platforms. I know it's kind of a weird conversation, but let me hop right in and show you why it's affecting everyone. So Facebook at the facebook.com level, when you log in, it's pretty generic, pretty straightforward. You know, any, anyone could do that. You hit this checkpoint, which is normal now. It's two-factor authentication for security. Now, you're able to set this up with a third-party app like Google Code Generator or LastPass, and you can generate a code. Now, if you get a new phone, you cannot undo this from the old one. So effectively, the only person that can use this code generator is whoever has a phone, which AT&T has mine because I turned it in for a new phone. Pretty common situation. Cannot set up my new phone on this. Now, this is where it gets interesting. This section need another way to authenticate used to give you sms and email abilities to send a code to your phone or to your email to then get that code and put it into facebook so that you can log in safely so that other people can't just log into your account all willy-nilly well guess what facebook changed something they stopped allowing that no more sms or email they give you the code generator option. And this section right here is they say, first of all, you need to have the Facebook app on your phone. Uh, first of all, no, you shouldn't. That's sketchy. If you have a browser application like facebook.com, like a website, you really just shouldn't need to have their app on your phone just to get a code. But you know, the best part about this is I have another video that shows that the code generator no longer exists. There is no more code generator on the Facebook app. And I have a video recording my screen showing that. This just disappeared. It is June 24th. It said it was going to be deprecated in the app like two weeks ago. It's like soon to be deprecated. And then one day it just disappeared. I never updated my app. Pretty sketchy stuff there, Facebook. So whatever happened, what they did do is I have another option, approved from another device. I'm logged into multiple devices and there is no notification. I used to get notifications. When this change took place, it stopped sending notifications out to the other devices. I've been going back and forth with Facebook for three days now still have access on another computer this is my laptop i'm traveling i wanted to get in and use the account still have access to the facebook app i just made a post on my facebook page about this can't log in on this laptop which means all of my other devices at one point in time when it gets kicked out of this 30-day security window where you say remember this device well it stops remembering after 30 days which means that this started happening with me a week ago. I would say by July 24th, this is probably going to impact, like, uh, if they don't fix this, a big amount, if not the majority of users on Facebook. Why did this happen? Here's the best part. If you inspect element on this item here, inspect element is a Google Chrome tool to show the actual code on the page. If you do that to this section, what you can see is the ability to look at the actual base code behind the entire item. So this is just a bunch of random letters and numbers, how they're identifying these div sections. But when you actually focus on each section, this section still highlighted 421 pixels by 13 pixels. It's a legit section. Why would a section be not visible? or disappeared, if you will. 
I don't know if uh, Zuckerberg's been hanging out with Hillary or not, but mm, take a look at this. Clear, hidden element. What are they hiding? A button. What was that button? <laughs> Other options. The email and SMS two-factor authentication link. This is not my problem. I didn't create this problem. It's not my laptop, by the way, as a MacBook. Facebook on their homepage on browsers has hidden two-factor authentication other options. I checked their all of uh, so I checked their help documents, which their support team graciously continues to send to me, even after I made plenty of videos like this. Basically showing them that this is absolutely broken. You can't hide two-factor authentication and then make it mandatory for people to use. <sighs> so I just wanted to put this on the internet. I want to put some money behind this on YouTube. I want to point this at every single business owner and advertiser that also has an interest in Facebook. And I want to hope that at least 10% of you got to this point in this video. Because what I'm about to tell you next is going to matter a lot. If your Facebook depends on, I mean, sorry, if your business or your ad agency, your media buying agency, your consultancy, whichever, however, whenever, wherever, is relying on Facebook, if you have a contract with the client, if you as a business owner have a contract with an advertiser, Facebook as a platform is absolutely broken and this is going to start happening to more people in mass. Actually, I've verified this personally with people in this building. Those this options missing from them too. What's the answer? It's not Facebook anymore. It's YouTube, which covers the video component of Facebook, which is also way more impactful and way more affordable. It's Google search. Anybody who has intent to buy is going to Google. Anybody who actually wants something isn't going onto Facebook and scrolling the news feed. Okay, so Google's products. Let's put those down. TikTok is eating Facebook's lunch performance-wise right now. We do TikTok ads, but we've been so successful with Facebook, it's like, why move? I mean, but look at this video now. You already know I'm moving. Everybody's moving. And you know what? The benefit to this is this. This is the point I want to make. Facebook is a dinosaur. Their support team is broken. People who work for Facebook and with Facebook, third parties, have no control over anything. Their departments are so fractured that somebody is literally showing them the actual code that is causing the break. And they're not doing anything about it. I have two tickets open with them. One, some guy responded with additional links after I sent them a video showing them this. And he closed the ticket. He closed the ticket. So that's what I wanted to share with you guys. Um, again, my name is Michael Ensler, Advertising Report Card. Here to say that Facebook's turning into MySpace. It's aged. It's old. It's not going to be around much longer, and the reason why is because they're so detached from their users and the reasons why people use Facebook. And not only that, but it's pervasive in the way that they don't allow certain things, like small businesses of certain sorts with different types of practices that are 100% legal. Maybe some of them in some fringe societies is considered controversial, but at the same time, Facebook is throwing political ads down your throat. Look at the elections that have occurred. It's just, it's a, the platform has its hands dirty. And at this point, now that it's killing advertisers, it has its hands bloody. So again, if you're still watching this and you need help moving off of Facebook, or you're not even running ads and you want to run them on Facebook, well, let me be the first person to tell you that you're going to get a better ROI and experience elsewhere. Can you get an ROI on Facebook? Yes. But it's like trying to fold a dollar bill 
so many times until it's as hard as a quarter. The process of actually getting the ROI out of Facebook has so many hoops and so many extra steps, and they're so quick to keep somebody from advertising on Facebook that it almost is diminishing return. uh, We've been doing Facebook ads since 2011. I think they launched the product in 2010 as Boosted Post. 2022, and um, um, we're we're setting sail. Uh, Advertising report card is setting sail. And we're gonna burn the ships when we land where we're going. There's no back, there's no going back to Facebook. So, wanted to put this somewhere where other people could see the issue because there's going to be a lot of people looking for answers. And I'll be the first one to tell you that there really isn't one right now, other than me driving back to my house on the other coast of Florida to access it on my other computer. Thank God I have a team and employees that have full access to what I need them to have access to. So our life goes on as normal. But what happens when this happens to them 30 days from now? I mean, we have to start. We have to start pausing things, moving things. It's a disaster. Uh, not because it's terrible. We're gonna, we're gonna get better results. Like I said, it's just imagine a company so big that has got to this point, and now they're just standing on the train tracks, just waiting for a train. Accidents happen, but the avoidable ones, when the person who is about to have the accident, just continues on it's a train wreck and it's a stupid problem because it's avoidable i'm just look at that hidden wait a sec they actually made a class for the div so they have css basically hiding this section this is also shoddy development work it's sketchy how could i go in here and find this I'm not a programmer for real. Like I made a video game in fourth grade, but God damn. All right. Well, that's about it. Again, my name is Mike Ensor, Advertising Report Card. It's not hard to find me. AdvertisingReportCard.com if you want to drop a line or some hate mail (laughs) after this video. Either way, I'm all for it. Bring it on. Let's have a conversation. Especially if you own an ad agency and you're still watching this, reach out. Let's get a coffee. I'll send you a Starbucks card. And let's talk about how to get our clients off of this terrible black hole of a platform. Because Lord knows the last couple of days have been extremely stressful. And I didn't even do anything wrong. I shut my computer down. I turned it back on. Facebook wanted me to log in and then the options disappeared. I didn't. Uh, it's just, it's, 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 it's. Enough for me to end the video now to be continued. We'll follow up when and if I ever hear from Facebook.